How does the lymph fluid from the lower extremities return to the venous system? From the thoracic duct into the left subclavian vein? From the inguinal lymph nodes into the inferior vena cava? From the inguinal lymph nodes into the femoral veins? From the thoracic duct into both internal jugular veins? It out that both the left leg and the right leg the lymphatic system is going to converge into something called the chylus cistern, which is just to the right of the aorta, and then that's going to form the start of the thoracic duct. The thoracic duct is going to march all the way up in the retroperitoneal space. Ultimately, it's going to converge in one place in uh, entering into the left subclavian. And along the way, it's taking the lymphatic drainage from the entire abdomen and most of the uh, lymph, lymph nodes uh, in the chest as well. So the bottom line is that while everything else is pretty symmetric with the upper extremities draining to both sides and the left and right side of the head draining to both sides, the legs and the abdomen are exclusively draining via the thoracic duct into one place on the left side. And that has some significance when we think about... It.